All right. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Doing the the trainer tower. Is that what? It, gym leader castle. Whoa. All right. Uh, everyone should know all the rules and shit by now, right? I would hope so. We're gonna start with Baruch. Got Bug Boy Lad Jr. and Baruch. Might do three. Well, I don't have any registered sets, so we're gonna go with this. Ah, uh, let's see. Who do we want to come with us on this adventure? Um, what do you got? I'm gonna take Vaporeon. We might need some type coverage, because that's what I'm worried about. Um, we take. Wait. What does he have? I didn't have fucking Psychic. What the hell? That's actually kind of hard. Because like, I would take Pidgeot if Wing Attack was a thing, but it's not in this generation, so... No, looking back at it, Gen 1 moves are trash. Guess we'll take Polyrath. Um, we gotta take my boy. Gengar. That's what Gengar does, for those of you who didn't know that. Um. Take Executor. And take Magmar just in case, because I feel like they would be like, oh, everyone's going to fucking load up on, uh, you know, water types, because it's Brock's gym. Do we be a cunt? No. Oh, we got we got to take Terry. I don't know why I wasn't gonna take Terry. <laughs> oh, all bugs. See. Feeling pretty confident. Uh oh. I don't. I don't have the fucking button set. Yes. Come on, I should Oko. Get out of here. He really thought. Well, here. Well, hold on. While we do this, will this capture? If I do this, hold on. I gotta make it so I can use my bumpers. Trig triggers, bumpers. Here we go. What? It doesn't give me an option for. All right. Left trigger. Right trigger. Save. Save. All right. We should be good. This is a fight between two different hey. Of there we go. Not a fan that it keeps exiting my sound when I click out of it. Oh, and it's burned. Harden, you're not gonna. That's not gonna do shit. I'm gonna finish it off with a strength here. Camera proceeds to shut off. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Refocus. The camera. The battle has become one sided. They 
There we go. We got my coffee cup over here. I don't know, because I'm using the Elgato app on my phone, right? Now let you green screen stuff. I didn't one hit a Caterpie. This Magmar is trash. But it does this weird, like, green outline around me. It's super weird. But, like, if I just a normal camera, it looks phenomenal. But I don't have a place to set it besides where it's at now. And you can see too much of my room, and ain't about that life. Five minutes into the stream, we already have technical difficulties. Standing on the void. Get the fuck out of here. Boom. Let's take on Lad now. See, now this is some type diversity here. This is some, some good diversity. I'm going with the same team I went last time. Here's the second adversary. The challenge will be to stay calm to earn victory. Coming out here with an otters like that. You know, for whenever this game came out, this game is ahead of its time, 100%. Like, there is zero question about it. And yes, we will be doing Pokemon Stadium 2 and we're done with this one. Don't you guys worry. Ekins? Is that the actual name of Ekins? Ekins? Let's be an asshole. I didn't know I need to put an epilepsy warning in this. Fuck. Oh, you still got it off? Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Let's see what a strength does. Oh, this is a fair hit. Does confusion not work? Alright, I guess we're not doing a webcam. That was the whole plan, was to webcam this, but it's not working. Savage. Bougie. Ratchet. Classic. Ha! Killed yourself. Hey, what's it doing? Dying. There's a difference in the number of preserved Pokemon. Oh, it's Parrot! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. You know, if you told me before I started this that uh, Magmar was going to be the carry, would not believe you. There it goes! That was too easy. That was borderline too easy. This whole thing's borderline too easy. Let's get Lad out of here. Let's continue the train. What is that Diglett? What the fuck? Yeah, this game is way ahead of its time. Like, it's it's borderline ridiculous how ahead of its time it is. Like, I can't even lie. Could you imagine if they made a Pokemon Stadium on the Switch, but with all of the gym leaders we've had so far? Oh my lord. Oh, it's 
No, it's Geostar. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Yes, it is, announcer man. Did not take much at all. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. I think my favorite thing is the graph of the like the ROM. Sometimes they'll fuck with it. <laughs> like Dug Trio looks like it's made out of hay. Or it's really furry. But then if you look it's like a little icon on the side, it just it's just blue. Oh darn. And Nicki Minaj did it with my surfboard. I don't know if that's Nicki. Is that Nicki? Not sure. Gone. It's a one, hit wonder. one hit wonder. Just like me. Yeah, look at Tug Trio's sprite. It just looked a little weird. Boom, boom. All right, Beerook. All right, we mix the team up a little bit, just a little bit. The next battle is against Pewter Gym Leader Brock. How will the challenger battle Brock's Rock Hard Team? Well. I'm gonna use Surf, that's how, announcer man. Here's the first move. It's a light hit. That is a light hit, I'm a fucking tank, look at me. Ugh. That surf. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon Aw, come on, Polyrath, you couldn't even one hit. Continue. Gotta put those Vulpix into submission, I guess. This is what I was slightly worried about, is an Ammonite. This thing's got some pretty solid coverage. So we're just gonna play like an asshole. If you guys hear a thud, that's me putting my coffee cup back down. Are you- What?! What a waste of a turn. That's what that was. I guess I could have just submission twice and we'd have been done here. What's next? The attack wasn't effective. What a furious battle. They strike fighting poses. How's that? I missed? Oh my god. This Almanite might take down Polyrath. Said no one ever. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Savage attack. There we go. Oh, it's down. It's waving its little arms. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's on it. We all knew this was coming, right? The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Fun the fact, Onyx has a worse attack one. stat than Oddish. But this is probably gonna kill my Polyrath. Because it's Earthquake. Oh, and it was a crit. Convenient. Taken down. What will the next Pokemon be? Uh, we'll go out with Executor. 
Just that way we can see more mods. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The combatants are making sparks fly. What will it do? Uh that's the weirdest animation I've ever seen. It can't make a move. Neither one is conceding an ace. This is how this is gonna be, huh? He breaks out of sleep first turn, and then I have to deal with this. Sounds about right. Makes sense, you know. I wouldn't call this intense, announcer man. Are you... Gen 1 bind is borderline the most broken things in video games. Well, I wanted to give Executor some time to shine, but... And since the move is technically continuing, he shouldn't be able to attack. Yep. Well, I should outspeed... I don't outspeed? Vaporeon does not outspeed an Onix in Gen 1. Are you serious? I'm gonna spend fucking five minutes fighting this goddamn Onix. Well, chat, you might as well get comfortable. Might be here a while. Now that one's conceding an inch because I haven't got to fucking touch it. The attack continues. I had a pop up on my computer, guys. Sorry. I'm gonna click that bitch out. Don't tell me this is a furious battle. Oh my lord. Here, oh, I should have kept going for quick attack. I'm stupid. That quick attack is to the left. I think this is the last the time it will continue, and then we can switch to using quick attack, and we can actually hit the fucking onyx. It's not going to do much, but it's still going to be damage on it. That was a crit. Holy shit. How much bind does Onyx have in Gen 1? I'm googling. Now, the attack is still continuing. Because it's not like I can do much. A light hit. What a furious battle! Fifteen? This is gonna take forever. This is so frustrating. Well, according to Smog on it, 15 BP, 75% accuracy apparently. So we all know that's bullshit because he's hit all of them. Onyx's speed in Gen One is 70. Let's 
to a Vaporeon says. 65. Are you serious? Chat, I don't know what to do. We're just kind of kind of stuck here, waiting for this to stop or him to miss. I don't know what to do, chap. Because apparently this move only has a fucking 75% accuracy. However, I've all, all like seven of them have hit. We've been fighting this Onyx for over fucking 10 minutes. Miss? Nope. What's that? It's on top. The intense battle continues. Now, the attack is still continuing. This is ridiculous. You know, I always get stalled out by some shit like this. Every time. I don't know who in Generation 1 over there at Game Freak and Nintendo thought this was a good move. Like, clearly it wasn't, because they changed it, like, immediately. Oh my god! It's probably gonna kill Vaporeon, but... Holy shit, it didn't. Are we actually going to kill Onyx? No, because his defense is ridiculous. Oh my god! It's, it's over! It's fucking over! Can we get a Let's Go Vaporeon in the chat? Oh my god, Vaporeon, the MVP right now. Fuck out of here, Brock. Get the fuck out of here with your stupid Onyx binding shit. There we go. There's a Let's Go Vaporeon. Love to see it.